Welcome back. Today, we are going to learn the ultimate way to divide any number with any number. Okay, it's called the crowning gem division in Vedic mathematics. Okay, before we learn, let us pray to number zero. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and say along with me. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamevavasishyate Slowly, open your eyes. Suppose you have a division problem like this. 209 divided by 52. Oh my God, the divisor is 52. We never learned the multiplication table. We can never learn the multiplication table of 52. Then how to do this division? But, pause the video and look at this problem. Maybe your body will tell you the answer. Okay, take your time. Pause the video. Vedic maths is intuitive. If you look at this division problem, what we have to do is, we just need to find out how many 52s are there in 209. As simple as this. Okay, you approximate this 52 to 50, say, for example. Okay, just see how many 50s are there in 209. You know, there are four 50s in this number. Okay, basically, the answer is four and reminder something. You know how to do. So, from 209, you take away four 50s. Okay, because we know there are four fifties in this number. Four fifties means it's a 200. You take away 200 from 209, you have a nine. Division is simply repeated subtraction. Okay, from 209, we have taken away four fifties. But we have to take away 52s, not fifties. Okay, because we have taken away four fifties, we also need to take away four twos, okay, from this number. Okay, whatever is remaining here, we have nine remaining. Okay, from nine, we also need to take away four twos. Okay, what is four times two? Eight, so you subtract eight from nine, it's one. So the answer is four, reminder one. As simple as this. When you paused the video, and if your body came up with this answer, Check it out. It would have followed this method to come up with the answer. Vedic Maths teaches you the methods that your body will use naturally. That's why Vedic Maths is intuitive. Now we will learn how to do this problem in a more organized way. Procedure remains the same. Here is how I set up this problem for you. 209 divided by 52 is something, reminder, something. The beautiful thing in Vedic way of division is, however big the divisor may be, we only use the first digit for division and other digits we simply, we manipulate. That's why if you see the divisor part, the first digit is written here, okay, this is the, actually the divisor, and all the other digits are written separately. This position is called a flag position. How many digits are there in the flag? There is only one digit in this problem. So that's why from the right, at a position of one digit, we write a vertical line here. Once our division reaches, reaches this point, we simply write down the reminder. That's the meaning. We set up the problem. And now, we simply write down the answer. Okay, here we go. We go in three steps. We do one division, one multiplication, and one subtraction. That's all. 
division, multiplication, subtraction. Three steps and the answer comes up. Okay, are you ready? So, first, 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay, reminder is 0. We just write it before this 9, make it a 0, 9. Basically, it's a 9, okay, in this case. Okay, division we have done. And then we have to multiply 2 and 4. Okay, the answer we multiply with the flag digit. It's a 8. So you subtract 8 from this remaining whatever 9. Okay, 9 minus 8 is a 1. That's all. You got the same answer. Procedure remains the same. We took away 4 50s first and then 4 2s and we arrived at the answer. Now pause the video and tell me the answer for this problem. I set up everything for you so nicely. Maybe you don't need to do any pen and paper. Just by looking at this, you should be able to tell the answer. Pause the video. Here we go. The answer comes in three steps. Division, multiplication, subtraction, and that's it. So first division, 32 divided by six is five remainder two. Okay, five we put down in the answer, remainder we put here, we make it a 21. Okay, and then what we do? Multiplication. So we multiply the flag digit with the answer digit. Three times five is a 15. And then the final step, you subtract this 15 from 21, you get a six. That's your remainder. As simple as this. Now pause the video and do these two problems by yourself. If you want, you can use pen and paper and set up the problem by yourself or simply look at the problem and tell the answer. Pause the video. Here are the answers for you. Did you get them right? We will see a little more difficult problems. Before that, I want to tell you funny thing. We have say, for example, 10 divided by three. Okay, you know the answer is three remainder one. Now the funny question, are there any other possible answers for this problem? Pause the video and think about it. So suppose 10 divided by three means what we have done, we have taken away three threes and then answer remainder was a one, okay? Or what we can do, maybe you only take away two threes, then what will be the remainder? Only two threes, you say you take away six and then the remainder will be a four. This is also a valid answer, right or wrong? Okay, say you only take away one three from 10, then the answer is, answer is one reminder seven, right? Okay, now a funny thing. Suppose you took away four threes. Wow, four threes are 12. Okay, if you take away 12 from 10, then the answer will be a four reminder, how much? So you are taking away 12 from 10, the answer will be a minus two. We call it a bar two. Okay, here are the various possible answers for this problem. If you take away one three, you get a seven. You take away one more three, you get a four. You take away one more three, the remainder reduces further to one. If you take away one more three, the remainder becomes minus two or bar two. Okay, we are going to use this funny thing in the next problem. Before we go to the next problem, pause the video and find out the answers here in the blank places. Twenty-one divided by five is actually we know twenty-one divided by five is four remainder one. But here I want completely different answer. Okay, three remainder something. Okay, that means I want you to take away three fives from twenty-one. Three fives are fifteen. Okay, you take away fifteen from twenty-one. You have a six. Okay, same here. 
So I want you to take away six sevens. That means I have 42 from 51. So here the answer is a nine. Okay, here 24 divided by five is five reminder something. Okay, I want to, you to take away five fives. That means a 25 from 24. If you take away 25 from 24, you get a bar one or a minus one. Okay, we are going to use this technique in the next problem. Okay, we come back to our crowning jump division. Okay, now pause the video and see if you can do this problem by yourself. Okay, so 503 divided by 72. Okay, seven is the main divisor and two is in the flag. Okay, so we answer is something, reminder something. So we go in three steps. Divide, multiply, subtract. So divide. 50 divided by seven is, we know it's seven reminder one. Okay, that's easy. And then you multiply two and seven, you have a 14, so you subtract 14 from 13. Hmm, then you have a bar one. Okay, so the answer is seven remainder bar one. Okay. Suppose you want to take away the bar number. How to do, pause the video and think about it. So, if you remember what we learned a while ago, basically in division what we are doing, here we are taking away 772s and then we arrived at a bar number, okay, that means we subtracted too much, okay, there are no 772s in this number, there are only 672s, okay, actually you can change the answer to 6, reminder, so you just have to add a 72 here. So this is going to be 72 minus one is a 71. So you can change the answer like this. There is also another way where you can avoid producing bar numbers in the first place. Okay, we will see how it goes. So we go from the beginning, okay, divide, multiply, subtract. Okay, first what we do, divide. 50 divided by seven is seven remainder one. Okay, here we see there is a 13 here and there is a 14 here. Mm. 50 divided by seven is seven remainder one. This is going to give a bar number as a reminder. So what we can do to avoid it, we can use 50 divided by seven. We also know it's, it can be written as six remainder eight. Okay, we can do that. So we can use instead of seven remainder one, what we do is we write six remainder eight and we make this a 83 and now you multiply two and six is it 12. You subtract 12 from 83, you have a 71. So this is six. Reminder 71, which way you found it easier? Now pause the video and do these two problems by yourself. Okay, so we will go one by one. So this is three, three, three divided by 44. Divide, 33 divided by four is, we know it's eight remainder one. Hmm, but if you see it's a 13 and then there is a 32, there is going to be a bar number. So what we do, instead of eight, we put a seven, okay? So 33 divided by four is seven remainder something. What is it? We take away seven fours, 28 from 33, we get a five. So it becomes a 53. Okay, now, Multiply, four times seven is a 28. You subtract 28 from 53. You have a 25, as simple as this. This is one way to do. And then how about here? 35 divided by five will be seven remainder zero. Okay, if you divide it totally, we are going to get a bar number. We don't want to put a seven here. We want to put a 
6 here. So we want to take away 6 fives. 30 from 35, you have a remainder of 5. So this is a 57. And then you multiply 9 and 6. 9 times 6 is a 54. You subtract 54 from 57. You have a 3. As simple as this. We will continue with crowning gym division in the next class as well, which is going to be the last class of this course. Meanwhile, you can have fun with the homework problems given in the video description below. That's all for today. Thank you.